It's seven o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I'm on another bike tour. At this time I'm heading to Georgia, going to Cumberland Island. I left six o'clock in the morning to catch the 6.30 ferry. Here you go, Big Talbot Island bike trail. This is a nice bike trail. So this one takes me to the other side, all the way to Amelia Island. So this is the Spoonville Pond at Big Talbot Island. All kinds of stuff there. Woodstock just landed. American Amazons. Look at them. They are so cool. Look at this beautiful sunrise. Very pretty. Anyway, I'm gonna continue my ride now. Really pretty. Crossing over to Amelia Island. <laughs> I'm enjoying my ride. <laughs> That's the Amelia Island. So it's 10 minutes after 8. I'm making nice progress. There you go. That's the A1A. A1A North. Eight miles to go to the next turn. Okay, I'm crossing over the Amelia River. Kingsland, Georgia, 13 miles, front 657. I'm going to Kingsland. Shadow is winning. So this is 95, Interstate 95, and um, the Georgia border is really close. St. Mary's River. <laughs> Georgia. Yep, <laughs> welcome to Georgia. That's between the Florida and Georgia. Took me only three and a half hours to get here. <laughs> you know what they said? Georgia is in my mind. <laughs> Welcome to Kingsland, the city of royal treatment. And this is the city of Kingsland in Georgia. More like the town. Small town. So it's 9.41. <laughs> wow, that early. I'm in St. Mary's. It's looking good. Look, beautiful. I know that they have ferry. They have two ferries. One leaves at 9 and I think the other one was 11.45. I could get on that one if they're gonna let me. So let's see. Cumberland Island. National Seas. Anyway. I think I'm gonna get lucky. <laughs> this is the ferry. And these are the people waiting. My name is Ranger Alex. If you guys have any questions after my orientation, I would love to answer them. Taking off. There you go. Wow, this is pretty cool. Island National Seas. That's the one. Wow. Here you go. 
I'm in Cumberland Island. Last night I was still thinking to head south to St. Augustine and Palatka and all those places, but I was thinking, what about if I head north instead? So I looked up and uh, I thought that I'm not gonna make it to the ferry this morning, but it worked out perfectly. Right now I'm gonna head to Dungeon. Oh, it's pretty soft. <laughs> it's not too bad, but gotta be careful. Anyway, this is the main road. Goes from one end to another end. Wow, it's really cool. Look at this road. Such a beautiful road. And the weather is nice. Excellent. Look at that. So that's the one where I'm going to look now. It should be over there. That's the one. Dungeness Ruins. Very cool. These are famous Cumberland Island wild horses. Very cool. Looks like they are doing just fine here. No one is taking care of them, they are just taking care of themselves. Wonder what was that? Some kind of building, probably a maintenance building. And this one is another building. More buildings. So now I'm heading back. I'm gonna get the water, then I'm gonna head to my campsite, which is three miles away. Wow, look at these trees, it's so cool. Oh wow, <laughs> I saw the sign, private property. Some people do live here. There are some houses here. I didn't know that. Look at this guy. He's not paying attention. You can't even see me. Armadillo. Hey. What are you doing there? <laughs> Can't even hear me. Normally they are active at night. But sometimes they come out at daytime there. They can't see a thing. But if you move, then they can see. Stuff for Beach campsite via Pratt's Trail. This is my campsite. And there's the bathrooms and probably showers. I don't know, do they have a shower here? I think they do. I'm gonna go and check. Tent is up, everything is ready. I'm gonna go and explore the beach. So the Stafford Beach is this way, over the dunes. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Narrow walkway. <laughs> Here you go. This is the beach. Look at that. It's beautiful. And today is so warm and nice. I think it's 82 right now. There's the piping plover. Look what he's doing. He's shaking its leg. <laughs> it's so relaxing. It's just absolutely beautiful. Okay, I'm back. Now I'm gonna take a shower first and then I'm gonna cook my food and uh, enjoying the rest of the time here. Look at my tent here. I took a shower, 
now I feel so fresh. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna eat uh, a rice and chicken. Just a water ready in 10 minutes. And look inside. Mmm, yummy. And the road today is 70 miles. So I deserve some real food. <laughs> you know when it's um, I guess midnight when it gets dark. When it gets dark you go to sleep. Good night everyone and see you all in the morning. Back to my camp. Okay, okay, okay. I didn't even notice that you were trying to scare me away. go and take a closer look of those birds over there. There are tons of birds over there. Look at all those sandpipers, they are everywhere. The beach is covered as far as I can see. These horses live freely in the island. Pretty good life they have. They're coming straight towards me. I need to get out of the way. They're staring at me. Look at these guys. Interesting, he's kind of beige, white below. So cool. Wow, look at that. They are going their own way. Bye, see you later. This is the sunrise at Cumberland Island Beach. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. There are tons of birds out there. I'm gonna go and take a closer look. Wow, look at this. All those shorebirds. These are mostly tunnelins and western sandpipers. How do you like that? So cool. I'm just passing by. I don't want to bother you. I know the horses are territorial. You can't get too close. I have to leave plenty of space between them. Okay. I don't want to. I'm just gonna try to pass you guys. Just do your own thing, I'm doing my thing. <laughs> All right, I'm heading back to my camp. So. Okay, okay, okay. I didn't even notice that he was actually following me, trying to scare me away. I guess I got too close, but I, I tried not to be close. <laughs> yeah, they're very territorial, you don't want to get too close. This is my trail, Ed. 
see Stafford Campton Crossing. Now I'm a little bit concerned about the horses. I can see that how they're coming in, crossing my trail. I don't want to surprise them. So I'm trying to get back to my camp. Where are they? <laughs> they actually using the same trail. Look at that. There's a horse poop all over. I don't want to meet them on the trail. I have nowhere to go. Okay, I'm back. So now I'm gonna head to the ranger station to the port. Okay, I'm heading out. It's 8.40. Three miles to go. The river is kind of soft, but I just have to find uh, firm sections. Definitely you can't ride a road bike. Yeah. I'm actually very happy that I came to Cumberland Island. Different kind of experience. It's so beautiful here. Yeah. I definitely recommend anybody. Yeah, today it's gonna go up to 80, probably 82 I think. But at night it was 60s. Perfect for camping. Just keep going and going and this road goes from one end to another end of the island. Ranger station is right here. And the dock. Never mind. <laughs> I didn't see a sign private road, but this is definitely a private road. I'm gonna turn back and continue my ride. It's a beautiful morning. Absolutely gorgeous. Here you go. Morning. I made it. <laughs> Cringes are not here yet. So now I'm gonna spend some time here till the um, boat's leaving. Look at my view. And there's the dock. I'm enjoying this rock and chair. <laughs> That's the ranger station. That's the first boat. Lots of people on bikes. Yeah, you can get a bike here. You can rent a bike here and you can uh, bring your own bike here. It costs 10 dollars to get and take the bike along. of St. Mary's 61 miles to go it's not much I should be home at 5 first I'm heading to Kingsland Georgia then I'm crossing over to Florida heading to Bernardina Beach and home 
all over to Jacksonville. Here you go, Florida Georgia border, St. Mary's River. The Sunshine State. Georgia was sunny too, so no change in weather wise. But the roads are wider. <laughs> I just passed the I-95. Juli, seven miles. Here you go, I'm in Juli. I'm making nice progress and right now it's 1.45 I should be home at like 4.30 This one is called Nassau Sound and as I get another side I'm in Duval County I remember when we had only this, this old bridge and I think they built this new bridge maybe 15 years ago okay I made it last second I got on the very uh, guy was closing the gates and I slipped through <laughs> anyway this is the end of my bike tour the overnight bike tour that's a short one thank you for watching so you subscribe.